hi, I'm here to give you um, answers to questions that most of you have been asking and I thank God that I'm moving out of this house so I can answer most of your questions and answer them practically, you know. You're not just a talk, but I'll just be doing the practical work so you people can agree with me 100%, right? Good. I'm just going to peel it off. So in case you're in a rental house, you definitely want to leave, you just remove it. Easy. Easy. Everything's unfolding as it should. Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom with Frida. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Frida Ngoku and this is the best place for you. So subscribe and join the family. Um, who, um, by now, you know that I have a business on wallpapers, um, interior designing. Let me call it that. Anything interior designing. And I sell wallpapers, wall mirrors, contact papers, and all that. And I get a lot of questions, and mostly to do with this wallpaper, because it's the easiest way to decorate your house without um, spending a lot of time, without spending a lot of really money, and it's going to last you for 10 to 15 years. So I want to be able to answer those questions today. So that's, and I want to answer them practically, literally. So I am here, and thank goodness that I'm moving out of this house because with that now I can just do away with my decorations and all that and then we get on to it now I have a book here before I get into the practical part let me answer a few questions now wallpapers come in different designs patterns colors blah 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 and depending on where you want to install it then you choose depending on that for me this was going to be my office and I wanted to be able to do my YouTube channels from here so I needed a wallpaper that was bright and still had um a, a feel of a, a good feel you know and this was a 3d button wallpaper which is what i installed here my wall wall was cream i'll be able to show you that but now i transformed it to this white then up here which i'll be able to show you was also cream but i transformed it to white so i did a plain white wallpaper yes they are actually plain wallpapers white blue green whatever colors you choose so when you are buying wallpapers from me specifically let me just be me I help you choose wallpapers that will suit your room. So I'll be like, where do you want to install it? What What is there? Is it a TV? Is it a bed? Uh, is it a kitchen? What is it that is there? So that we get the best wallpapers for your space. So I help with that. And I think that comes like um, as a bonus to you guys. The second thing is um, I walk with you through choosing the colors you're familiar with. And the people who come and they're like, I want flowers in my house. Sorry, my neighbor has music. I want flowers in my house or I want 3D wallpapers and then they're like I want this and this and this and this and I want them in one room. So what I do is I ensure that you don't put so much into one room that you're not able to actually be there. So I help you with that. I help you balance like you have a, a, a like case example. This is a very busy wallpaper not so busy but it is busy then the wallpaper on this side had to be plain because I didn't want to have so many colors because you can get into a room and you literally feel overwhelmed because of how many colors, shades and patterns you have of wallpapers in your house. Uh, I have a sale running. Um, I have some wallpapers on sale that are going for 1000 per roll and um, normally we sell them at 15 to 16 hundred per roll. A roll is 10 meter by 0 0.5 meters. Like the whole of this wall is, is, is um, is one roll it covers a five square meter space all right and uh with that in i have a sale running the 10 it's one roll is going for 1050 so in case you're interested i'm gonna leave a number down there so you can call me then i'll we'll be able to choose the ones that will work for you then the others go for 15 also i'll be able to send all those catalogs you can have to you can look at the design and you know we agree on which one will work best for you Okay, I hope you guys can hear me with this noise. Now, let's get on to the practical part of it. Um, first of all, thank you guys. You guys have really supported me. There's a video I did on installation and I got so many inquiries. I got so many sales. Actually, that was where I got my first sale. And this business has been doing good because of you guys. So, thank you. Um, now, let's talk about uh, a few things and questions that I hear from you. The first question is, uh, if the wallpaper gets dirty, uh, how do I clean it up? Like, will I mess with it? Does it uh, leave? Does it lose? You know the feel, the glow. And the answer to that is no. The second question has always been: I'm in a rental. I want to install a wallpaper. 
I don't want my landlord to come for me, you know. We lie, remove the wallpaper, and then it comes out with the paint. And the answer is no. And every time I answer these questions, guys are like, Hi, Frida. So today I'm here to show you practically how removing wallpaper from your wall does not destroy your wall or your paint. So let's do the removing and see how that goes. It's so sticky. I hope I'll be able to remove it. Guys, this is how hard it sticks. So let me use my cutter to do the removing. This is what we use to cut and install. So I'm just going to peel it off. So in case you're in a rental house, you definitely want to leave. You just remove it. Easy. Easy breeze. Now, if you're keen enough, you can see that the side that it will come up like completely leave you with the wall as was. That's a question that most of you are like, ah, yapana. This is it was a tarib wall. So, um, and then there this side. There are some sides that it will leave now the inside paper. This is the paper that sticks with the glue. So sometimes it might be left there. And all you do is just peel it off. Just in case it's so sticky. Um or it's leaving some patches like this one. Now, I've just cut here because I've used this. You're not supposed to use something so sharp because you're going to peel off the ink, or uh, the paint. But uh, in case of such a case, let me first remove this, all of it so you people can see. The other question is, can I remove and cut it and go and install? I mean, guys, how will you install this? You can't reinstall. You can't do that even if you wanted to. So no, you can't. <laughs> Once you've installed, that's gone. Even if you decide to remove it nicely like this, huh? you decide, ah, let me just remove it nicely and go and reinstall. Because clearly, if you apply paint, if you apply the glue, the wallpaper glue here, and stick it back, it's going to stick. But now, how will you follow the pattern again? That's where the problem comes in. And again, who, who has the time to start remove it so nicely so that you don't tear it's not possible guys so no you cannot reinstall now this is what i wanted to explain uh we we normally tell clients that we remove our papers with water and they never understand how so um you see how easy that is so what you do in such a case where you have uh removed the other part and it's leaving such things what you do is you take your kitamba this is my kitchen kitamba that is if you just want the wall to be as clean as was without all this, you take your tamba, wet it up, you just do this. Now, when you do this, it, it makes this thing wet. And remember, this thing was installed by glue. And then now it feels, it peels so easily. Can you see that, guys? It peels so damn easily. Like, kidogo water, just, just kidogo water. Like, it's just in like a small bucket. And then make it wet just a little bit and it will just spill literally it will just spill easily and leave the wall as was very easy let's do on this other side now look at this this one has literally left the whole part uh, with the inside bit of wallpaper and a good wallpaper should be able by then there are fake wallpapers out there a good wallpaper should be able to leave uh, to have the inside bit so that it ensures that this outside part this outside part does not stick so heavy this is like a protector so that way now you stick to it it's just a simple paper you just remove it again let's remove this you can try and peel it but if you try peeling sharp things you might you know peel the paint so what you do again water just wet your kitamba this happens a lot more when you you want to remove a wallpaper and install another one. So people call us and they're like, hey, remove this wallpaper and just install another one. This is what we do. Literally, this is what we do. Look at how easy. When there is water, can you tell the difference? Where there is water, it's easy to pull. When there is no water, we are struggling. So the water literally just makes the glue that used we used to stick the wallpaper uh, less firm. And then it's easy now to peel it off. So it's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. I hope I've been able to answer you guys, the Judas's 
who keeps telling me, oh, Frida, I don't want issues with my landlord. If, if I wanted my landlord not to know that I was, I had one papers here, it's easy breezy. He will not know because the paint is still the same. And if I have all the time, which guys I don't have, they will definitely, but I don't deposit anyway, so they will do the work. I will just wipe a little bit, wipe a little bit, and then just peel it off. Very easily, very easily. Once it's wet, it's easy to peel off. Let me show you. There. That easy, guys. That easy. Very easy. Paint as was. Let me show you closely. This paper. Actually, I can feel the glue that we use on this side. Because there's no paint. There's no paint that comes out. The wall is has was. So the next person who is coming here, the guys will be doing, <coughs> sorry, because they'll be doing a lot of installation, a lot of paint. They definitely will just peel this thing off. I don't have all the time because if anything, when a katanga deposit and just remove. So if you want us to come and remove our wallpaper that was once installed and reinstalled, that's what we do. We can peel it off, get a kitamba or a brush. By the way, actually a brush would work perfectly because a very fine brush eh? you just wet it up and just do this you know just wipe it off and then remove so it's easy very very easy let's try on this plain wallpaper i hope i can turn you guys so you can see um yes another one here we go easy breezy i don't want to show that did you notice there was a line here? Did you even see a line here, guys? But it was so well installed that you could not even see. And that's a good thing with a plain wallpaper. You can easily install a plain wallpaper yourself because uh, as long as these lines don't, because it will start peeling off, you have to ensure that it's smoothly done. Like, can you tell there's a line here, guys? Let me bring it closer. So here we are. Can you tell? Assume, uh, ignore this because I just pulled off. Can you tell there's a line there? literally you can't you can't tell there was any joining done there yet if i pull this wallpaper like this now you can see where the joining is right but you couldn't see it before because it's been installed by a pro now this is the paint um this is how the wall looks like so you see even the dirt that was there before i installed is still there so guys, it's that easy. And wallpapers are there to make your house beautiful. So make good use of them. Just make good use of them. So check the difference between um, where the wallpaper was installed. And let's go on this side where the wallpaper was installed and where it was not installed. It's the same paint. Nothing has come off. You just wipe it off and you're good to go. So it will tell the difference from this white dotted to how it was looking before who would want to be on a background like this when you can be on a background like that or like that awesome right hoping that you guys enjoyed this video and now you can easily buy wallpapers without any fear uh check me out on instagram my company's name is joy mark wallpapers and decor uh, same with um facebook i'll leave my number there just call me i'll be able to answer all the questions you have um let me say a few things in case your wall is not very smooth eh, we have a glue that you can we have normal glue for wallpapers normal walls like this one for a wall that is smooth and then we have glues that are called hardeners now hardeners you mix with the normal glue just to ensure that because your wall is not so smooth there are no air that is coming in so the hardener ensures that your wall sticks better so sometimes you might have to buy hardener which is uh, 500 you buy hardener which will make your wallpaper stick firmer and stronger and of course for a longer time uh another thing some people ask me now i have just partitioned my house with a plywood can i install on a plywood yes i actually have a video of a plywood um wallpaper installation so check that out on my insta instagram joy mark wallpapers and deco so in case you partition to your house or even you have a salon or even a barber shop and there's a plywood somewhere and it's looking so ugly like you can just install but when you're doing a plywood you need the hardener so that it sticks and sticks um stronger and firmer because uh yeah it's a plywood it's not really a real one 
uh, we have different kind 3D so check them out on my Instagram I'm also going to leave um, a video here that will show you some of the varieties we have and thank you guys for watching um, it's been a pleasure I think this is the last video I'm doing in Akuru finally I'm moving to Kanairo <laughs> after years of contemplating and all that I'm finally moving to Nairobi and stay tuned for maybe me redecorating my new house um, yeah so that is gonna be awesome because I'm going to play around with wallpapers now that I know wallpapers better right awesome thank you for watching please um, in case you're interested in our products we have wallpapers contact papers wall mirrors and artificial grass get in touch with me you also do interior designing i can help you choose what colors themes anything that to do with you know how you want your house to look like i'll be here to help you out and please follow my pages i love you so much guys subscribe to my youtube channel tell people to come and watch the judases who don't believe in them in these wallpapers tell them to watch and see you on my next video stay positive and stay focused bye